Hey everybody, welcome to my pink room of doom. As always, I hope you're doing well today. I've not used that tagline in a while. I think I'm about to bring it back. But anyway, we're here to talk about a new guitar that I got. It's pretty, it's a single cut. It's not one of my favorites, but uh, this one might change my mind. As you can tell, it's a Telecaster. Most of my regular viewers here might know that I don't really talk about Telecasters as much. I do have quite a funny story about this guitar and this kind of whole experience and buying it, so stick around till the end. I'll tell you more about that later on. Before we get more into the video, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, all the good YouTube stuff. I got links in the description to my merch store, my social medias, all that kind of stuff. If you want to go follow me there, check it out. I don't have any affiliate links. The only thing that's benefiting me directly are those social media links and uh, my merch store. Make sure you go check that out. Help support the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Back to this guitar. So this is a Squire Telecaster Custom 2, which uh, to my understanding, based on the pickups, that's kind of the dead giveaway for me. I think this is from the Vintage Modified range. If you don't know what the Vintage Modified range is, it kind of sits up there, they don't make it anymore, but it kind of sits up there with uh, the classic vibes, right? Whereas the classic vibes focus more on the 50s and 60s, I think the vintage modified was more like the 70s, and it could be because in the 70s people were kind of modifying their guitars like crazy. I don't know, I'm not like a Fender aficionado with, with history and all that kind of stuff, but that's besides the point. Just know if you find something that's in the vintage modified range, Typically, it's like a 70s style thing, right? Um, but we're here to talk about this Telecaster Custom. This is a Squire Telecaster Custom 2. It's got two P90s in it, right? And I know I talked to you about the P90s a second ago. They're Duncan Design P90s. Typically, the Vintage Modified range had Duncan Design pickups in it, which, uh, if you don't know, they're like just, you know, overseas made Duncan spec type pickups, right? They're not actually Seymour Duncans. They're Duncan design. They give the factory the specs, say here's how we make our pickups, make them like this, they make them and put them in the guitar. They're pretty good, right? They're, they're good output, good clarity, all that kind of stuff. I really like Duncan design pickups. So if you look at some of them now, uh, they have the big kind of uh, pre -CB or post CBS headstock, the really big headstock. I don't like that on, the, on these, really. <laughs> I like the traditional kind of tele headstock there. It says Squire by Fender Telecaster Custom right there, it looks beautiful. Two string trees flipping over to the back. They're just kind of unbranded, you know, regular tuners, but they hold tune fairly well. This is made in Indonesia. So it's not Chinese made, made in Indonesia. Uh, it's got a synthetic bone nut, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, traditional fender scale length, all that kind of stuff. A very dirty maple fretboard here. Uh, that was kind of part of the reason this was so cheap. I got this with shipping and everything from Guitar Center used under $200. That's a great deal. I didn't even think about it. I was like, boom, pull the trigger really really good deal but the, the whole neck itself is kind of filthy <laughs> right here there's some grime there was like chunky bleh on here like I, I scrubbed this fingerboard really really nice it's stained but I kind of like that adds to the vibe uh, like I said maple fretboard 
it's like a c-shaped neck it's not super chunky or anything but it's for me i like a chunky neck it's actually very comfortable to play i really really thoroughly enjoy it uh, moving on down to the body medium jumbo frets too on there by the way moving on down to the body super light guitar this telly it almost feels weight relieved it probably is but i can't really tell knocking on it like a lot of people would it's made of agathis so all you tone wood aficionados out there tell me what agathis sounds like leave me a comment tell me telecaster custom again i think this is like a 70s look again correct me if i'm wrong but you know black comes in like a vintagey blonde too with my pink strap on there uh, two Duncan designed P90s in there. They sound really, really good, nice and clear, as a P90 should be. It's got that mid range bite. Uh, this is kind of structured like a Les Paul. It's got some plastic right there. It's original plastic, too. Uh, three way switch up here, two volume, two tone down here. This really big, kind of flashy looking pit guard on there. Um, this one in particular looks like someone spray painted the horn, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. This this particular one right here is not in very good shape cosmetically. But let me tell you something, folks. This thing plays like an absolute dream. I mean, it's really, really nice. There's a little bit of fret sprout on this one. Just a little bit. I can get that fixed. That's never really a, a breaking point for me because it's if you like a guitar enough, do that. It makes a huge difference. But the action's really low. Sounds really good, doesn't buzz out. Everything adjusts, um, with the exception of there's some screws missing from the pickups here, but but otherwise, I mean, the, the, the pots don't crackle. It's super light, which I normally don't like, but I, there's, this is a telly that I like, and I don't like tellies. I just, I never vibe with them. I really like this one. Really, really cool guitar. If you ever get the chance to pick one up and play it, you're probably gonna be like, I gotta walk out of the store with this thing, it's great. Like I said, I think they have one that has humbuckers in it. The P90 one is just really unique because you don't ever really see tellies with P90s in it. I know they've got them now. There you go, there's the Squire Vintage Modified, that's what I'm gonna call it. Telecaster Custom 2, super great guitar. Uh, you've probably heard some clips throughout the uh, video being played here. I'm pretty sure I gave you a demo. If not, one will be coming up, depending, I don't know. Take that as you will. So there's that. Let's talk about it for a minute. Uh, the funny story, that is. So, uh, Guitar Center shit posting. okay? If you're a fan of kind of ragging on Guitar Center or you work at Guitar Center and you're like a disgruntled employee, go join that group on Facebook. Guitar Center shit posting. a lot of funny stuff there. And uh, so I, I posted this guitar in that group because they like roast squires and epiphones, so I'm a prime candidate for them to, to look at. So I posted this in there and said, you know, hey, roast this. And for the most part, people were like, you know, what? There's nothing to roast. It's a good deal, which I agree. It's a great deal. But, you know, Squire hate in there and all that kind of stuff. There's a running joke in there about pooping in the acoustic room. Let's just so I don't get demonetized here with the language. So pooping in the acoustic room. OK, so everybody was making the joke about the fingerboard, blah, 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 blah. So it ships out all that kind of stuff. I get the box. And um, I got to leave after I get the box and everything. I cut it open, pull back the flap, and this is what I see. That's the greatest thing I've ever gotten from a guitar center. <laughs> Aside from like, if I say, oh, look, I got a good guitar. That's the greatest thing that I've ever gotten from a guitar center is that note on the flap. And in fact, I said I was going to do this, so I did. Up on top of my picture here. I kept the flap. So I posted about it in the group and you know, the guy messaged me and was like, yeah, I'm a member of the group. I saw you ordered it, saw your original post and just wanted to leave a funny note. It's a great community of guys over there. I mean, it's a little bit raunchy. You got your wild cards in there, people that, you know, probably take it a little too far, but it's a great group. Go check them out. I don't own it. I don't have anything to do with it. I'm just saying that's just a funny story. I've never had that happen with a guitar. So anyway, so there's that. Hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you didn't, let me know below, all that kind of stuff. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. Links in the description, all that kind of good stuff. Check out some other videos. Got a lot of them on my channel to choose from. Till next time, guys, tell me what you want to see. I'll see you later.